My name is Pei Dong Yang. I'm the laureate of Global Energy Prize 2020 for our work on semiconductor biohybrids for artificial photosynthesis. I want to welcome the guests to the Global Energy Association section of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Unfortunately, due to the COVID restriction, I will not be able to join you personally, but I will be happy to share some of my opinions through this video from Berkeley, California. Global warming and climate change is real. For 2020, we had a record high temperature on our planet Earth. This is the direct result of our industry heavily rely on the fossil fuel for the past century. Energy transition is the key. It's very critical for the industry to moving away from the fossil fuel and aggressively adding renewable energy into our overall energy portfolio. And the energy transition is the first and a very important step towards net zero or negative carbon emission economy for the next few decades. There are many great challenges towards a net zero or negative carbon emission economy for the next few decades. First of all, the existing energy infrastructure has been heavily relied on the conventional fossil fuel for many decades. It has great momentum and also huge inertia. This would require each and every country to do their best to reduce their carbon emission and aggressively increase the use of renewable energy, including photovoltaics, wind, geothermal, in the overall energy portfolio. Secondly, there is a great need for renewable energy technology breakthroughs such as chemical energy storage or nuclear fusion. For the renewable sector, we will see increased usage of renewable energy such as photovoltaics, wind and geothermal. Meantime, I think some of the new chemical energy storage technology will start to play a significant role. For example, hydrogen economy will start to shape up the overall energy portfolio in the coming decades. The hydrogen here is very often referred as green hydrogen, means hydrogen produced from water spreading using renewable energy source. So it's different from the other blue hydrogen that's coming out of conventional fossil fuel industry which carries with its own carbon footprint. This green hydrogen will be the new generation of energy, energy carry that can be used in many industries, for example transport, manufacturing, pharmaceutical, chemical industries. Therefore, they can be used to reduce carbon emissions significantly. And I believe that would be the first very solid step towards our net zero and negative carbon emission economy in the next few decades. Our work on the semiconductor biohybrids for artificial photosynthesis represents another new technology for the renewable energy conversion and the storage. Essentially, using this particular biohybrid system, we can convert carbon dioxide into liquid fuel using sunlight and the water. And in one step, what we are doing here is to store the solar energy directly into chemical energy in high density form. So effectively, I believe this is one additional step beyond the green hydrogen as the new generation of energy carry. 
because now we can essentially imagine that CO2 can be captured directly from air and uh, using our system we will be able to convert it into liquid fuel as a high energy density media and then use it as a new energy carrier for many of the industry. So it will significantly reduce and mitigate the carbon emission. And I feel this is going to be a key technology in the future for us to establish a negative carbon emission economy. Climate change is real and it is accelerating. We will not be able to reverse it overnight. However, I do see strong hope that collectively we will be able to fight it with strong determinations and strong wills from the government and the people all over the world. I believe all the renewable energy technology and the breakthroughs will be on the table and will be the solution for this biggest challenges facing humankind.